All right, what you are looking at is a GE Force RTX 3060 Ti Elite Aorus. And there she is right there. Well, I think I fried it. <laughs> I think I think it's dead. Um, I can hook it into a, a, a motherboard and I can get visual. But when I go and I install the NVIDIA driver, it, of course, the device is reporting error. I noticed it was hot on the um, back plate more than it should be. I pulled it apart and noticed the uh, thermal, pad was, thermal pads on this were horribly thin. I mean, they were almost paper thin. It was ridiculous. So I don't know if this card just overheated and fried the memory. I am not sure. Uh, I popped it apart. Re, uh, uh, reapplied some thermal paste to the actual NVIDIA chip. Put a uh, fresh thermal pad, jazz thermal pads. I know I recommend copper, but I uh, was out of copper at the moment and just wanted to get this back up and running and see if that was the problem. I did that, powered it back up. You know, you're able to boot up and see it, but once the NVIDIA driver tries to install or turn on, of course, it just goes dark screen and no joy. But um, the back plate was cool though, so there, it was hot. So adding new thicker thermal pads and crunching it down definitely uh, cooled this puppy down. But I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try some more stuff on the test rig. Uh, I just don't know what's going on. I, it was getting ambiently hot out. I don't know if that makes sense. Ambient temperature increased. It was a weird day yesterday. Some rigs were acting up. And I just wonder if this one finally just said, I'm out. I'm, I'm punching out. I'm out of this crypto mining game and I'm going to go into the crypto uh heaven in the sky but uh yeah i don't know we will see look at that little ars it looks cute it's a it's kind of a thick heat sink so i don't know if this is a clunkier card it's a gigabyte aorus brand so i i just can't remember if gigabyte's a good brand or not or i just got the luck of the draw and got it got one that just that just decided to go uh go uh could just go out on me say i'm done mining so we are at an eight gigabyte GDR6. Oh, I have a four year warranty. Oh, well, good, yeah, a lot of luck that's gonna do. You ever try getting these things fixed in a warranty? It takes years and they'll just usually refuse it. Uh, nah, I don't even waste my time anymore on this stuff. And I got thermal paste everywhere. Uh, let's see, I don't know what else to try. Have you had trouble with these cards? These 3060 Ti gigabyte Aorus. And it does say gigabyte on it, that's why I said it doesn't even say gigabyte on the box which is weird uh nope i mean it's just funny how they hired hide the brand name aorus aorus but it says on the actual board here right there where my uh finger is gigabyte and this is what an eight gigabyte thing we'll spin the fans the fans all work even though i got a little dirt on them thermal paste uh, this is hypnotic, just watching the fan spin. Is that plastic on there? Did I forget to remove the plastic? Is that the problem? I forgot to move the plastic? No. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, my God. Look at that. Rookie rookie mistake. Left to protect the plastic. Well, not that it matters, but look at that. Oh, my God. How bad am I? I must have been so excited a year ago to install this thing. I forgot to take all the plastic. I'm not that it's going to affect it, but still. Now it looks extra shiny, even though it doesn't work. I mean, it powers up and it gets recognized. And I can actually install the NVIDIA driver on it, the most latest release from NVIDIA. But then, um, then it just kind of dies on you. And I go, oh, but and then I can remote into the uh, rig and look at what's happening. And it just says device is not responding or reporting issues. And I went, oh man. Oh man, come on, no, I can't be, can't be. Uh, this is getting close to 60 mega hash with the unlock, and I hate to lose that, even with the uh, increased difficulty and lower productivity profitability on mining Ethereum right now. I just still hate to lose a card. I think I got the, the new pads on for temperature. I'm checking everything again. Uh, I don't know if I put it back together right or wrong. Probably wrong. I'm probably pinching a wire somewhere. No, that looks right. That looks right. I'm trying to see, because these wires, I just really, I'm telling you, my thing with the GPUs, 
I want stuff, not fluff. This little bugger has the little LED rings in the fans. whoop de doo I don't care. I just want the thing to work. I don't want the fancy lights and everything. Uh, there's a thermal pad. Everything looks good there. Nothing looks really squinched up. Yeah. I mean, it, I wish there was a way to, like, flash these things somehow. Or just give them a good, like, hard reset. I tried using NVIDIA software to do it. You can say reset everything on it, but it won't recognize the card to do that. All right, so there, there's my predicament for the day. It's just crap happens, crap happens. And I went, ah, damn it, really? I just lost a card. But uh, I'm going to try to hook it back up and see if I can at least um, see what's going on. I don't know. If you guys have any tips or tricks on what to do. Uh, I did cool it down, so I thought maybe it just overheated with the crappy uh, thermal pads that the factory puts on but the temperatures did not indicate anything was super high otherwise I would have noticed that like a day or a week ago you know what I mean that it was getting hotter but I did not notice that maybe it just got a, a zap of electricity or uh, I don't know I just don't know all right that's where I'm at my, my dilemma for the day I know first world problems again the irony of the whole thing if that's irony is that uh, I'll probably have to shut these rigs off anyway once the Ethereum goes to the horrible proof of stake where they become centralized crypto going against everything they stood for when they first came out as a decentralized algorithm a decentralized token or whatever now they're going to go full pos so people can start staking all their pre-mined ethereum and making lots of bucks so these uh, gps will probably just go dormant i will never sell the gpus why? Because too many people are saying, sell us your GPUs. I'm going to wait. If you're saying there's no value after GPU mining, after the, I mean, after um, Ethereum merge, POS, Ethereum 2.0, if there's no uh, profitability in GPU mining, why does everyone want to take your rigs from you and offer you the pennies on the dollar right now? It's kind of funny. But then I look on StockX and eBay, prices are still up on new GPUs. So things haven't dropped that drastically. The hunch is... Some people know what's going to happen after the merge, and they're going to they're starting to accumulate GPUs cheaply at cheap cheap prices. I don't know, uh, and they're getting ready for the next bull run on some other algorithm, some other coin. Otherwise, people would not be saying, "Hey, send us your GPU, or we'll offer you pennies on the dollars to unload your equipment." If anything, if I'm not making money on these cards, and this one's most likely gone, uh, the rings will go off and just sit there until I start seeing another coin or another way to use the gpus for um making crypto profits all right that's where i'm at that's all i got eight minutes in that's enough that is enough rip 3060 ti but again we'll go try a couple more things to see if we can get this back up and running re reinstall the drivers whatever we'll try a bunch of stuff all right let me know if you had trouble with these cards or what you recommend i've tried mostly everything but i'll keep trying because again 60 mega hash is 60 mega hash baby all right I'm out. Blammo.